North Carolina has Clay Loud back in the lineup tonight. They did not use him last week. They had the duel in hand against Virginia, trying to manage his reps. Six and two this year, eighth in the country, the three-time NCAA qualifier, and the returning All-American taking on Luca Augustine, the redshirt freshman from nearby Waynesburg, Pennsylvania, just about an hour south of where we're situated here in Pitt. And talking to some of the support staff with Pitt earlier today, about 100 kids made the journey up to, to watch Luca in action here tonight inside the Pete. That's one of the benefits of wrestling in-state, especially being close to where you went to high school, you get the support. It's good to see Clay Lout back. Had a little injury and they were protecting him to make sure he's healthy when he needs to be healthy. And he is one of the most underrated wrestlers in the country. He's a two-time All-American at 174. Never lost to Makai Lewis more than two points. He always keeps it tight. Speaking of Lewis, Loud powered his way last year in Detroit all the way into the quarterfinal round where he lost to Makai Lewis. Another tight match like you were talking, 4-2. Loud ended up eighth in the country. He entered Detroit seated 10th. This is just his fourth match that he has wrestled in a little more than a month and a half. Coleman Scott was frank with us and told us, hey, we need to make sure our guys are ready because we're judged with how we perform for three days in the month of March. And, and veterans like Loud, O'Connor, Sherman, who was a no-go tonight. They've all been here. They know what it takes. Very true. And some may not like the decision to hold people out, but you want to make sure that your guys are healthy and make sure they're in positions to not just win, but not to get injured as well. It's worth the score. Worth the score. And Luke Augustine is a grinder. He, he's someone that, that Pitt likes. Fingers. They know that he's going to work extremely hard. And it's just going to take seasoning. And season is going against All-Americans like this. He had a rough match against returning national champion Makai Lewis last week. Let's see what he's learned. Rock, has there been anyone in the sport over the last couple of years that has grown in success as much as what we've seen with Clay Loud? I mean, you talk about a story of development. He went 4-15. and 15 in his true freshman season. Then he turned it around, made the round of 12 and 21, and then the podium finish last year. Unranked kid coming out of high school looking to become a three-time All-American. That's when you have athletes like Clay Lout who are committing to trusting the process with their coaching staff. And by trusting the process of your coaching staff, you're going to have good results. And it, it makes me laugh when, when these parents will come in and make calls to coaches and saying their kid needs to do this, do you need to let this happen? Well, Luca Augustine knows this guy quite well. Jim Akerley, head of Quest School of Wrestling. And Rock, you had a visit there yesterday, had a chance to, to sit down and talk with Jim. One of my former coaches, hard-nosed, tough. He doesn't let anyone have breaks. But even though he's a hard-nosed guy and he really expects a lot out of his wrestlers, he's pretty funny. He has some good one-liners when he's uh, giving his wrestlers some grief. Second period underway, a 1-0 lead for Augustine, one of Akerley's former wrestlers with the Quest Club here in town. And Max Shaw from USC was a, a Quest School of Wrestling wrestler, and Slinger, the other heavyweight at, for Pitt under Jim Akerley's leadership. Augustine this year, one and one in ACC duels. He has a win against Vic Marcelli of Virginia, but he lost last week. Makai Lewis just kind of had his way. 14-4 win for the Virginia Tech national champion from a few years back. The longer this match stays like this, the more confident Augustine is going to become. We haven't seen a real committed shot from Loud, and maybe he's picking his spots. Or maybe Luca Augustine's defense is that good. Action. And that's why we, we, we were talking about it. He's a grinder, kind of like 
Harvey was last year. Just a grinder. One of Sean Kenny's favorite wrestlers in the universe. I wonder if he's part of the crowd behind us. It's alumni day here at Pitt. They have brought back a lot of former Panther wrestlers and treated them to a fun night here inside the Pete. Clay Loud had one of the biggest moments in ACC Friday night dual history when he pinned Hayden Hadley at Reynolds last year. There's a shot there. He couldn't finish it though. The longer Luca Augustine stays in this match, the more confidence he's gonna build. Lout will start underneath. Pitt looking to go 3-0 and really move into the driver's seat for the regular season ACC race. Big duel next Friday night against NC State. Roll here by Lout. Augustine stays with him. And this is what Pitt likes to do. They want to commit to a ride. But the veteran is just too savvy. Lout just wrapping up his Masters of Accounting degree. Stay out of the face. Always so good with his upper body. He's had the extensive Greco-Roman background before arriving in Chapel Hill. He'll get to his underhooks and upper that. body, and we have seen him put some opponents airborne throughout his career. Now, being the, the veteran that, that Lout is for UNC, he knows that he has a solid defense, and Luca Augustine being a freshman, he knows he has to be careful. And so he's just going to be a grinder. A grinder may not shoot like they're just going to stay in hand fight. And he knows if he if he takes a shot against Lout, he has to be very careful. So 40 seconds left. Luca Augustine searching for that signature win here in his redshirt freshman year, and he is pushing the All-American to the end. On a night which offense has been tough to find with these two, tied at one, 20 seconds to go. Oh, my. Heavy hips there by Luca Augustine. Out came in with some force and it was just bottled with the strength of the hips there by Augustine, and we are heading to our second sudden victory of the night here at 174. Sudden victory is just first point scored. Doesn't matter to the takedown. It could be a penalty point. It could be a couple stall calls. It's just points. First point. change of level it looked like for Augustine. Two minute sudden victory. First one to score wins. If nothing is settled we go to two 30 second tiebreakers. Alternating positions wrestled to a completion. Lout trying to avoid that tiebreaker scenario comes in on a shot. Gives a tug at the back of the neck of Augustine. Looks like Lout is picking up his tempo a little bit more. Exactly. And one of the things that Lout needs to do is not shoot straight on against Luca Augustine because his hips are very good. He needs to create angles against Luca Augustine. The times that he has shot, it's been straight on, and Luca Augustine has good defense straight on. So therefore, maybe a little misdirection or maybe a sweep. There it is. He's going to chase it. He's going to chase it. attendance making some noise and we have a stoppage and I think some blood so a blood timeout and I think it's Lout who's bleeding Keith Gavin with some words of wisdom to his young freshman what's the message right now in the pit corner Big corner is, hey, let's stay in there and continue to fight and fight. Let's not extend ourselves on shots. 
Here's our Tuesday college basketball doubleheader right here on ACC Network in the ESPN app. Blake Henson and Pitt host Louisville at 7 Eastern. Then we head to Charlottesville for NC State and number six Virginia. Tuesday college basketball doubleheader right here on ACC Network. 35 seconds, sudden victory. Tied at one. That seems to be the best opportunity for, for Lout. It is kind of a drag into one side and and not going head head up with Augustine. Once again. Man, these, these guys are here fighting hard. They're going hard. It looks like it's gonna be decided on the mat now. Out trying to stick his underhook in, but he won't have enough time. Augustine is gonna hold position and we go to two. 30-second tiebreakers, and keep in mind, they are wrestled the full 30 seconds. They flip of the disc, it comes up green. Augustine will start underneath, but first, another blood timeout, as they will work to try to corkscrew that lip or nostril. Not sure where the blood's originating. Looks like it's the nose, so they will go back to work on Clay Lop. In this position, you got to lean with the returning All-American who's been in these tough matches, the blood round matches, the round of 12, who knows I've been here before, but because Luca Augustine has gotten this far against an All-American, look at him smiling over there. That's a good show, feeling good about himself. But because Luca Augustine has been in this match as long as he has, you got to think that he's a little more confident that he can get away from the All-American. Wait for me. Bottom man set, cover, nice pause. Yep. Riding time gets reset. We started zeros, and how about that explosion off the whistle by Augustine? I think that one even caught Loud off guard. At this point, Loud, if he doesn't get a takedown here, he's got to go neutral. That, that was 1.3 nice seconds. Three seconds. He's got to go. He's got to go neutral. This crowd is really dialed in now. He's got to go neutral. He's got to go neutral. He's got to go neutral. No one out. It's, it's neutral. So let's see what the All American has. He's going to have to come at him. Upset alert here at 174 with the red shirt freshman Luca Augustine. The All American Clay Lau needs a takedown. Big snap by Lau. Woo! Woo! No control. No control yet. He's got to get this. This is where the All-American no is. Can Augustine no fight it off? Short time. He's going to keep the wizard. He kept the wizard. Signature win by the redshirt freshman over the returning All-American and returning ACC champion for the home crowd, Luca Augustine. Here it is, the last little bit, but what does Luca Augustine do? He keeps a tight wizard and gets his first win over the All-American.